Yes. Counselors of the Athletic, um, obviously, start with Donovan, 71 points with a career high and breaking all sorts of things. <laughs> um, but in the second half especially, what did you see from him and just this determination to get you guys to go in? Um, it, it was, you know, a, a response and understanding, you know, who we are and how you lead and how you present yourself in the moment um, and what's expected of us. Uh, obviously, he went above and beyond, but, you know, he wanted to show how much it mattered. And, again, I don't know how many guys in our league who, in the moment, you know, when it's needed, could go out and have a performance like he did tonight. Um, you know, it, it wasn't one of those games where, you know, we were in control or it was back and forth or it was a blowout. You know, in our favor, like every single play that he made was a play that was necessary. And, you know, I don't know how many guys, you know, in our league that can that can do what he did tonight. Um, at the end of regulation, you, you had to sit on, on the bench together. Um, what were you saying to each other and just kind of the reaction at that point of, okay, we've made it this far? <laughs> right. It was, I mean, it was, you know, we knew where we had to go. Um, and, you know, he and I are building a relationship and an understanding of one another and, you know, how we communicate and what buttons need to push both ways. Um, and that was a moment where, you know, not a lot needed to be said. You know, we knew what we had to do. We knew what we had done, but it wasn't going to be enough if we didn't finish it. Um, and he went out and led the way. What's been so special about that relationship you've been building with him? Because well, it is genuine, I guess not, but it's still early since the trade and everything. So what's been so special about it? Um, I mean, it's genuine. Mm -hmm. Like, he's a really awesome dude. Um, and he cares so much about this and this team. And, you know, again, he's never put himself above the team. So, I mean, how can you not root for, pull for, give everything you can to help a guy like that? Um I think that's the way I feel. That's the way all the coaches feel, and his teammates feel that way also. Jason. Jason, how do you coach 71? Get out of the way. <laughs> um, I mean, you just, you, again, you try to see what they're doing, and you try to figure out, you know, how you can continue to cre create opportunities for the hot hand. Um, you know, he didn't lead, need a lot of help from me tonight. You don't have Evan Darius. I think you were saying before the game you expect them to try and get the ball out of his hands. Well, obviously that didn't really work. Just how impressive is it to do it on a night without Darius, without Evan, and just have 11 assists on top of seven? Well, I mean, you, you know, you think about the two lobs that he made to Jared. You know, down the stretch that were critical. It wasn't just about him scoring. Uh, I mean, he played the complete game and he dissected the opponent. And you know. To me, the most impressive piece of this is where we were to start this game and where we were at halftime. Um, you know, there's excuses to be made without Darius and Evan, right? We all could have said, oh, well, we're down 21. We don't have two of our starters. Um, but he was determined to show that, you know, this group and winning is the most important thing to him. Um, and I mean, I, you know, there's, there's not enough words. I've never been witness to a performance like that live. Um, I think we've seen some of it on TV before, but we were treated tonight to, you know, one of the greatest performances um, in the history of the NBA. Danny. Danny coming to ESPN Cleveland. At what point did you realize you were being treated to one of the greatest performances? Um, you know, I think there was a three he hit in the left slot. Um, and, you know, you just start to realize, and it's, this one was late, because you're in the moment, all you're thinking about is, you know, how do we get back in this game? You know, what do we have to do to try to win? Um, but I think we got to a point where, you know, we had brought ourselves back and gained the lead, um, and he hits a big three to stretch it, you know, and it's just that gives you an opportunity, you know, to exhale a little bit and then, you know, realize what exactly is playing out in front of you. Then at the end of regulation, Donovan misses the free throw, gets the put back, ties the game up. Is that something that you guys practice? If so, is that how it's practiced? Well, we've practiced it once. Um, but, you know, again, it was his understanding of what was needed to be done. Um, you know, obviously he makes the first one, which is most important. 
and then we were able to make our subs to get some of the bigger guys in that could kind of block out uh, and find that hole. And I mean, again, the basketball love, basketball guys love these moments. And when you do the things that you're supposed to do, uh, they show you favor. And I think tonight was an example of that. Yeah. Evan Damar, right now, but JD, I've asked you this so many times now, and I'm just going to ask it again. <laughs> Have you ever seen a player's motor run as hot as Donovan's offensively? Um, I mean, after tonight, it's hard to say, you know, that you have. Um, you know, I mean, there's obviously been some great players in this league, but, I mean, I don't know, again, I don't know how many guys are capable of doing what he did tonight. What was the message to your guys at halftime? He jokingly mentioned you threw some things around and probably threw some curse words around too. But what, what did you tell your guys to kind of dig deep and get back into this one? Um, it was just a challenge that was laid. Dan. Donovan played every second of the second half. And I know it's hard to take a guy out when he's going the way he was. But was there a conversation that you two had when he kind of pushed to stay in the game what was that yeah I mean he said he was good and again we built a relationship based on trust and I told him just keep talking to me and we tried to use our timeouts as wisely as we could to get him as many blows as we could um and again I, it's hard to speak of I'm just be honest with you like what he was able to do. <laughs> Come on in. No, no, no. A lot of questions about you. Um, you know, what he was able to do, uh, again, just speaks speaks volumes to who he is. Last one, Joe. Uh, Joe G. Kez, I count. Coach Kez, 6 and 0 in overtime this year and dominant in overtime. Any reason you can give her that? Yeah, we have a grit to us. You know, we have a place that we can go um, where we just don't give in, we don't quit. And people are comfortable in 48 minutes, right? But we've got a mental toughness to us that allows us to be forceful in those final five minutes because we know what we're capable of. And again, it speaks to the character of our group and how special they are. All right, thanks, JP. Thank you. Thank you all. Donovan Mitchell.